Hello there, this is Jonathan with the SS Motion bringing you another Mega Box review. This time looking at a brand new Assassin's Creed set, Hatham's Pursuit. This is set number CNG07, has 56 parts and should retail for around £10. This set includes Hatham Kenway, as you can see as the figure there, with some nice accessories including a painted sword, an assassin hidden blade, a her wig that you can use instead of the hat, and a pistol. You also get a nice little terrain piece at the back there that can be used for either the horse jumping over it or as some sort of water basket at the front. And of course you get the horse which we've seen in previous Assassin's Creed sets. This set is based on Assassin's Creed 3 and gives us another Kenway family member. We now have Edward Kenway, the grandfather, uh, Hatham Kenway, the son, and then the grandson, Connor Kenway, which is of course who you play as in Assassin's Creed 3. I'm really glad that they've rounded out this family now. It is kind of a completed set now, um, so probably they'll move on to a different family group now in the line if it continues. Uh, but this figure and its set is just great, fantastic value for money and we'll go into the details now. So taking a closer look at Hatham here, it's a fantastic figure. He does of course use the typical Assassin's Creed body with the typical articulation and parts. None of the parts here are new, they are just reuses, but they all combine to make a fantastically detailed figure. You have a nice paint job, including the gold trim on the outer jacket and belt. You have the nice painted red tie around his neck. You have the gold buttons on his chest painted. You have the nice uh, gold hilted sword with the uh, silver blade there. You have the uh, Assassin's Creed blade as usual. And as I said, this is the uh, grey hair wig that you can add on. You can, of course, just use the uh, blue hat, which has a nice gold trim on it as well, if I just rotate that around for you. You also get a little pistol for him to use that I'll show here. Uh, I do, however, not use these anymore, as I've noticed that they've damaged a lot of my Assassin's Creed hands. Uh, the pistols seem a little bit too big for them. Uh, when I've removed them from figure hands, they've had a lot of stress marks, so I won't touch that. I, I don't know if this is across the board or if I've just been unlucky, um, but you might want to watch out for that in case it wrecks your figures. Ultimately though, you still get enough accessories for this figure to make this purchase justifiable. He is fantastically detailed, you get, like I say, you get the nice paint trim that you don't get on typical Assassin's Creed figures, and it does just complete the hate from Kenway family now. Uh, we have his granddad, we have him of course, and now we have the son. So it's just a great set. Um, I'm really happy that we've got it, and it, it, no complaints, I, I really do like it. Taking a closer look at the rest of the set, we have of course the horse, this uh, saddle can be removed, this is where the figure clips on, it's a shame that there wasn't some sort of reins attached to it, we have seen those on the upcoming Call of Duty horseback set, so it's a bit of a shame they've not been included here. It still, however, doesn't stop the set from being used. Uh, the figure still can get on there and grasp that section easily. Um, he, and he doesn't fall off as well, which is great. I will, however, point out that to get Hatham onto this horse, you have to bend a lot of the rubber coat out of the way. Now, that could potentially damage the rubber coat in the end, causing stress marks and whatnot. Perhaps a shame that they didn't use uh, soft goods, like the cloak from the previous Ezio on the horseback sets. Um, it is a bit of a shame. Um, I don't know how long the set will last because of that, if you keep removing it and uh, dismoving it. Um, so be careful with it, but um, other than that, I think for the price point, I think we get a third deal here. Just like I say, be careful if you are going to mix and match this set quite often. As you can see, the front legs on the horse are articulated at knee. The back ones aren't. This is just so that the uh, horse does always have a solid contact with the ground. If everything was bendable, it could collapse under just having dodgily aligned legs. So I know some people have complained that the back legs aren't articulated as much. But really, I think it's more a practicality feature here. And to be honest, you can still get some great poses with this horse. So I wouldn't complain much at all. You do still, however, get an articulated tail that can move up and down. You also get an articulated head at the neck here and the ball joint on the horse's head there as well. Uh, you, the herd does kind of block the rotation there, so it is a little bit limited, but you can still get some movement out of it. And for an animal, it is very articulated. They could have just given us like a pre-sculpted piece. So I am glad that Mega have just kind of gone outside of their uh, way, basically, to give us a much more higher quality product. 
If we look at the uh, terrain piece here, you can see that it's some sort of water box here for the horse to like simulate feeding into or drinking out of, something like that. And you also get this barrier at the back here which can be simulated for the horse jumping over it. It is pretty basic, uh, there's not much to it. It is one of the small terrain plates that we get from the weapon packs. Uh, nothing really to write home about in terms of features or anything. But it's just a nice terrain piece and it just helps add up and build a diorama if you combine this with other sets out there. So overall, you get a fantastic set here with a nice new character debut in the form of Hay from Kenway, a great articulated horse, a nice little terrain piece that adds to the previous Assassin's Creed sets if you have any of those, and some nice painted details and accessories. I would highly recommend that you get this set. It has been quite hard to track down, but just keep looking and I'm sure you will find it because it is a great set to add to your collection. So that's it for this review, I hope you've enjoyed it, we will be reviewing more Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed and Halo sets in the future, so don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video, bye!